Garge is the second boss in Eternity Vault, and on 16 man he has 2.4 million health, and this fight is all about movement. His abilities aren't really anything to worry about too much as long as you move when you need to. He does spawn adds, but they have so little health that they don't really add anything to this fight. Going to quickly run over the abilities that he throws at you, and the first one you're going to see is that he is entering a frenzy. Now this is the main one of the fight. Frenzy means the guard will stand perfectly still and will jump up and down and pummel his platform into the ground. When he does, stalagmites will fall from the ceiling. You use these to hop across to a new platform. The tank will then stand at the front of this platform, coming from where you've just come from, and everyone else will get to the back away from him as he does stun when he lands if you are too close, like a phone has just showed you. Apart from this, Garge does pounce. When he does this, all melee should back out just to save on some healing. It doesn't do you too much damage on 16 man normal, however it is an ability that you do need to watch out for if you are running with a few healers. The other ability is Pulverizing Slam, you saw it there. He will knock back everyone on the platform and this, if your healers and ranged DPS are stood too far back, means they will go into the lava. The lava doesn't hurt too much at first, however it does put a stacking debuff on you that will increase over time and cause some problems if you stay in there taking a bath. Apart from this, Garge doesn't really do anything at all, you've seen all of his abilities now. The slam, the pounce and the frenzy. Apart from this, the only one to show you is the ads that will come later on in this fight. They normally spawn after around the second platform or below 75% health. However, we have had them spawn as low as 50 and as high as 80. It seems to be weird. I'm not sure if the mechanic is still just not in place fully yet or if there's something we're not taking into account. So here's the frenzy again. You're going to see that as soon as he starts jumping, tank moves out, all of the range tug up. Now, before patch 1.1, the route that you could take round Garge's room was only one way. Since then, they've actually changed it so that it's now random. The route that you can take around Garge's room is any one of different ways, so you really need to watch out for those stalagmites falling from the ceiling. And still we have no adds. So Garge is about to pounce again, you'll see all of our melee move out. They back up there. One of them gets hit, the rest don't. Saves on a lot of healing. There's the slam. Punts a few of our ranged in, but if you watch the health bars, it doesn't really do too much to them. Garge is a really nice, easy fight, and he's strangely actually easier than the first boss. He just seems to be a case of getting your raiders to actually know how to move and run around. There was another pounce, and he should enter frenzy after this slam, hopefully. again. There's the frenzy. So the adds will spawn around the edge of the platform. They have between 5 and 6k health and you can easily AoE these down. They can be knocked back as well as you see our raiders doing. They are really insignificant. They don't do much to this fight and you should see that we'll have them all dead before we get to this new platform. I believe one might survive. Right, three survive apparently. But there you go. Not much health at all. And they are quickly finished off. And Garge has moved back into position as I suck. And that's it. That's the entire Garge fight right there in a nutshell. So as long as you're aware of the slam and as long as your melee move out from the pounce, you'll be fine. Frenzy isn't too much to worry about. The pattern does change now after 1.1 however it's really easy you do have time you just need to get across those stalagmites into the new one have all of your raiders back away from wherever the tank is otherwise they will all get stunned and take significant damage the rest of this kill is of course attached so you can see the loot if that's what you're up to and of course we will catch you for the next video and hopefully you're enjoying raiding peace